excited to be here with you guys today. It's a beautiful day and it's a fun day to talk about those little extra things that we can do during the week to give our skin that extra glow and give it a little refinement. And so today we're going to be talking about some multitasking um, masks. In fact, masks that we can mix together. And I want to talk about pore cleansing because a lot of people think if they have blackheads, they need to go after those blackheads. And of course, yes, we do want to use things that soften that. But what I also want to bring attention to is those of us who don't really get blackheads, but our pores can get a little droopy. They can get a buildup of oxidized oil in there and a little bit of um, sebaceous matter in there and it's not really a blackhead it's more we call it sebaceous filaments but it gets a little dark and the pores get um, a little bit dilated just a little droopy and that darkness is oxidation in the pores so today I'm going to be showing you some different masks that address different kinds of conditions in the skin but all of them go after that oxidation of oil in the pores. Because whether we have blackheads or not, we all need to be working on keeping those oils in the pores freely moving and not stuck. And we also need to make sure that we are releasing some of those dead, dull skin cells so that our products can penetrate better into the skin. So we'll get more bang for our buck. We'll get more, um, efficient use of our serums and our moisturizers they'll go better into the skin they'll lay better on the skin and foundation makeup things like that are going to lay a lot better on the skin when it's had some special treatments throughout the week to help get that uh, detoxification of the pores as well as removing those dull dry dead skin cells so what i'm going to show you today is pretty fun uh, this is something I've been doing for a little while since we started testing Glymed oh, six months ago. Uh, one of the first things that I found was this uh, mask. And it's called Oxygen Deep Pore Mask. And I leave it like this with these oxygen bubbles on there because I want you to see that the oxygenating element of this goes to work. And it doesn't matter what you do. After you use this mask, it's going to develop this little foam out here that really is just there to invite you to come back and use it again. <laughs> it's just the nature of that oxygenator in there. Now, this mask can be used alone. Absolutely, it's a lovely mask. It foams up on the skin, feels great, but it's so much better when you mix it with another mask. So I'm going to show you some different masks that you can mix it with and kind of give you some indication of who might want to choose which one. So um, this first combination I'm going to show you, all of these combinations are very gentle. The first two I'm going to show you, especially this one, is so gentle that even my grandkids can use it. They love it. There's no burning or stinging. So if you have really sensitive skin, it's going to do a great job. This, this combination, this is your oxygen deep, deep pore mask along with the hydrating mask with enzymes. This combination is super hydrating because, let me talk about this a little bit, when you have drier skin and you need hydration, if you have just put on this really nourishing, moisturizing mask on your face, but if you have a buildup of dry, rough skin, on your face and your pores have some oxidized oils and some filaments in there, that deep hydrating mask cannot get beyond that dry barrier. So what we need are some things that help to soften up that barrier, help to dissolve away that dry, dull skin, detoxify that oils, the excess oil in the pores, and allow that moisture to drive into the skin. So this is a really wonderful combination for that. What I'm gonna show you you want to do is use about two thirds this, one third this. So I'm gonna put some in my hand so you guys can see. <laughs> Get the little bubbles on there too. I'm gonna to put two pumps of this with this one. And then I'm gonna put a little smidgen about that much of the other mask and then I'm going to mix them together and then when I apply this onto my skin 
it goes on beautifully. I can use, you can use your fingers to apply it, smooth it on. And what you'll see is at first it looks kind of green, but as that oxygen goes to work on it, it's going to start foaming up. So that foam in that mask is going to help drive those ingredients into the pores. Now the hydrating mask is lovely because it has enzymes in it. Enzymes are those little Pac-Men that go around and digest away those dry dead skin cells. So it's got papaya enzyme and it's got a pineapple enzyme in there. We have calendula hyaluronic acid in here and some aloe vera. So one of the wonderful things about Glymed is that Glymed gives you these active products and they'll give you something that has some acids or some exfoliating enzymes, but they always combine it with calming ingredients because they know that one of the number one causes of aging is inflammation. So if you go to do a peel or an enzyme and it causes all kinds of redness and irritation, that's doing the opposite of what you want it to do. So Glymed is very proactive and that they're going to actually include a lot of very calming, soothing ingredients in their acids or enzymes so that you don't have that aging effect. So you can see how it's starting to whiten up here. Now, one of the beautiful things that you can do is you could, I could apply this to my drier areas and then I can get a little more proactive for some of the other areas of my face by mixing this with some of the other masks that I'm gonna to use today. So let's move from this mask. I'm gonna rinse it off my hand. It's so fun. I just love the bubbles on there. Now, if you don't get as many bubbles, sometimes it's just because you haven't put as much of the um, oxygen mask into the mixture as you might need and I've been known to put on my mask and then go back in especially in this little area where I get those little gray um, build up in my pores I'll go in and just apply a little bit more of this on top and that just activates it more it gets really big and foamy and that way I'm really getting into those pores that I want to detoxify in there okay so oh my hand already feels so nice and soft it's really yummy. This has lavender and lemongrass in it, but it's very, very, um, it's not for scent. So it's not really strong. It's more for those soothing qualities that it has. So you don't have to worry about it being an overwhelmingly strong scented mask. Okay, let's pull another mask that I liked to use this with. This is a really fun one. This one, I love this in the bathtub because it smells so wonderful. This is Mighty Tidy turmeric and banana <laughs> and that does and and echinacea now that sounds kind of awful turmeric and banana but when you put it on it actually smells really good and feels really good this is very firming and detoxifying so it helps pull things out of the pores um, helps to with antioxidant action to um, get rid of the oxidized oil in the pores but it's also very firming and tightening of the skin it's a got a pro vitamin a and that banana is the banana is full of a lot of bioactives it's very pro vitamin a and when um, pro vitamin a hits your skin it's going to turn to a retinol but this is all in just such a wonderful mask form that you never ever get any kind of a poor retinol reaction or anything because your skin is just convert what it can handle this has been a very popular mask with all of my clients. I'm always recommending it. One of my best girlfriends keeps this in her bathtub and she and her husband love every morning to take a bath and they read their paper in the bath and everything. And she walks in one day and he's got this all over his face, really thick. You don't need it that thick, but it was really cute. And I wish I had a picture of it because she just cracked up laughing when she saw him with this mask on. So smells really wonderful, kind of a vanilla excuse me banana it kind of smells like a banana sundae like a banana split that's what it is a banana split so love this i'm going to go ahead and put in just i'm going to use four pumps of my oxygen <clears throat> i'm going to go in and grab a little spoonful of my banana mix them together I love this combination. So yummy. Smells so good. 
Now I'm going to take it and apply it to my skin. You would apply it to your face. Got a little more this time, so we'll, a little more to go. And it's going to do the same thing. This mask also has a little bit of clay in it, but it's not a drying clay. A lot of times when you think of a clay mask, it seems really drying, but you can see it foaming already. But the clay in this mask is not drying, it's more stimulating. It's going to get blood circulation. The minerals in this mask are going to really feed the skin. Look at that. <laughs> I love how it does that. It's just like magic. My kids love it. They love playing with it. If they see this on my face, they want it on their face too. <laughs> so that's the banana and the banana and turmeric. I see I have a message on here. Let me see if I can read it. Where's my glasses? Grab my glasses so I can read up close. Can we use mask while doing the 15 day peel? It is, I don't think it said 15, it said it is. Sorry, it's my bad eyes. These clinical peels. So you could do, most of these masks could be done, but it's really gonna depend on your skin. If you've done that peel with me for the full month, you know that it, sometimes your skin is more sensitized, sometimes you're in a stage where it's actually lifting off some um, dead skin cells, and you're not going to wanna do it at that time. Um, you know, of course, you're not going to want to do it the um, right after doing the peel. You might do it on the day before you're going to do the peel. If you can do the peel in the evening, maybe do it that morning. But um, you really want to pay attention. Everybody's skin is different. If you're already getting a lot of exfoliation and everything, this might not be the right thing for you to do. But other people have a little stronger skin, and yeah, they can do this with no problem. So there's our banana turmeric, very firming. So those of you who want to have the clarified pores, want to have a more firming experience and really um, tightening, firming, getting the skin really glowing, this is an excellent choice. All of these masks that I'm doing can be done two to three times a week. So if you have a couple of these, you can do different ones on different days. All right, let's remove that and grab a towel. So while this one is not quite as hydrating as the hydrating mask, it still leaves the skin very, very soft and just ready to receive your serums and your other ingredients, your other great skincare products. Okay, now we're going to move more into that area where the skin maybe is lacking vitality. Uh, the skin is just looking a little bit dull. You're not getting as fast of a result as you might want to be getting from your wonderful skincare products. This next combination will go after that. So what I'm going to be using is the peat mask from Biogenesis. It's called Fresh Face Peat Mask, and this mask is in our reward center. So be sure to go to the reward center and get yourself one of these. It's a little smaller size, but it still it lasts a long time because you can see how little I use when I'm using these. The peat mask, that peat in there is full of all kinds of wonderful minerals, fulvic, humic acid. It's really going to help stimulate the skin, stimulate circulation, as well as draw impurities and pollution and things out of the skin. And it's got a naturally occurring glycolic acid. It's just a sugar cane extract. It's not that chemical form of the glycolic acid peel, so it's very, very gentle. And um, let's get to it. Let's mix them together. You can see it's very dark. I'm going to go ahead and do four pumps. And grab a spoonful of mask, mix it together. These ones that are darker color are really fun because they make you, <laughs> you look like you're really wearing a mask. Now I've got plenty of this one. This has a really kind of a, almost like a, um, a slippery elm bark kind of feel to it. It's got this kind of slimy feel as it goes on. The minerals in this, just are fantastic for feeding the skin. That's my hand. And now we're going to let that foaming action happen. My hand is going to be the best hand in town, I tell you. I should have done this on my face, but it would have taken us too long. You guys would have been bored. 
watching me put on and remove all these masks. Now, as I had mentioned, you can do different areas. Like you might want Mighty Tidy through this area. You might have really dry cheeks and you want to do the hydrating in this area out here. And then you want to get something in your pores area where we're going to um, lighten up the pores and really firm up the pores. And that's when you might choose um, either this peat mask or the next one I'm going to show you, which is the volcanic. So let me check messages here. Oh, Gigi says it's her second round. It's tolerated it well so far. Very strong. Said, yeah, so you should be fine. Go ahead and do it. Now, Gigi, if you're doing that mask, you've done two. Once you've done about four or five, you're about halfway through, that's when you can layer retinol over the top of that mask. Um, and really, especially if you have really strong skin, you'll want to use Rhonda Allison Salicylic A. You layer that over the top of the mask and that's going to really pick up the exfoliation and just have amazing <laughs> results on the skin. Great, Gigi says she has the peat mask. Marcy says, I've used the peat mask three times. It's lovely. Yes, so if you love this mask, oop, there you can start to see now all those that foam building up on there. This is a wonderful way to boost that mask by adding these together. So if you already have it and you know you're loving it, you can boost it with this. It's going to help drive deeper into the pores and it's just lovely. Just lovely. Okay, let's rinse that one off. This mask can also be helpful. It's very anti-inflammatory, so it can also be helpful with inflamed skin. Um, skin with rosacea that gets little pustules. The peat mask is excellent for that. But I'm going to show you now another mask that's really super good for that acne prone skin or anybody who is prone to redness or inflammation. And that is the Volcanic Ash Mask. Here's our Volcanic Ash. This is also from Neogenesis. This one's much thicker and even darker in color. This is a great mask for skin that really needs to detoxify and has a lot of impurities. Anyone with blemishes loves this mask. So here we go, mix them together. And it's thick, but it still mixes together pretty well. Get it all off of that little scoop. You can mix it with your finger. It's already starting to foam. And this is really great for those congested pores when we're a bit beyond just some sebaceous filaments or a little darkening of that or oxidizing of that oil that's skin. You've actually got some plugs, some blackheads going on. This mask is fantastic. So let's let that foam up a little bit before we take it off. And so this, either this one or peach or both, this one especially is really great through the T-zone. So you can do your T-zone with this volcanic ash and then you can do other things on the other areas of the face. Super fun. Joseph is here. Hi, Joseph. Okay, it says the volcanic ash volcanic ash mask dries a bit quickly. Would you spray isocell to keep it wet? You wanted a longer mask or just allow it to dry and rinse off? Sure. Anytime you have a mask that's getting dry too quickly, you can dampen your hands and re-wet it and let it go back into action again. Isocell is excellent for that or just some warm water that you pat on the skin will really help with that. Also, mixing it with this, you can see it's not drying so fast. It's not cracking and it's going to give it a longer wear time and that driving action of the oxygen is going to really help drive this in and clean those pores so you could give this a try jen says can my son use this when he has a beard just work around it mm -hmm. on or around the eyes and the temple sure if he's got a beard if you have a beard, putting these kind of things into the beard can be really hard to get back out of the beard. You're going to have to get in a shower and really work it out. Um, if you've got breakouts going out on in here, though, you may want to do that, especially in those areas where the breakouts are. 
But otherwise, anybody who has a beard, you just do around the other areas. And of course, the neck. Men don't often treat their neck the way they should. And so putting on any of these masks for his neck area as well is also going to be really good nutrition for the skin on his neck. Yeah. So you can see, look at that, the volcanic ash. It foams beautifully. So nice. And then it's not drying and it's not cracking. It's staying really nice and active. I just love it. I just love this, <laughs> this stuff. I just love this stuff. And I love the way by the end of the day, we're going to have a nice little bit of foam right out here just to remind us to use it again. Do it again. It's so great. Really fun mask. So other masks that you can mix it with. So you see that I mixed it with some clay masks, some mineral masks. I've mixed it with banana. I've mixed it with a hydrating mask. Pretty much any kind of mask. What you wouldn't want to mix this with is one of Rhonda Allison's enzymes or Sorella's enzymes like blackberry. Um, I shouldn't say you shouldn't. I just haven't tried it yet. I might have to try that next because I haven't tried it. But I suspect that you've got to, if you have a spicier acid mask on, mixing with this might be a bit too much. I've been choosing different kinds of um, more solid or soothing masks. So I'm bumping up a soothing mask so that we can drive it deeper into the skin. Um, those acid enzyme masks of Rhonda Allison, Sorella, they already have a pretty strong delivery system. Acids can be, uh, acid, uh, acids can be used as a delivery system. So more often what we do, if we want to use, um, like the pumpkin mask from Rhonda Allison, more often what you will see us do is mix that with like a milk mask or the chocolate mask or one of these masks. We're going to use the acid in that enzyme to drive the ingredients into the skin. And this is a gentler way to do it and also gets it deeper into the pores when you have congestion in the pores. Using the oxygen deep mask is going to drive, have that same action the acid has as driving those ingredients in without having that acid effect on the skin. Pretty fun. Look at that. I just love it. Okay, let's work it off. Get this off. Let's see if we have any more questions about mixing or combining masks and when and why to do that. All of these masks can be used two to three times a week. Anyone who's wanting to see more results from their skin care, doing these kind of masks two to three times a week is excellent. The nice thing about this is that it's so gentle on the skin. When you're using an acid peel or you're using an acid, a strong acid enzyme on the skin, you have to be careful and you often can't do that more than once a week. So it's a little bit limiting. This is so gentle that you can do it two or three times a week and you really start to see the results fast and it really helps to your skin to absorb the great nutrients that you want to be putting on it with your serums and everything else. Now, sometimes people with dry skin, they have a couple issues. Sometimes people with dry skin don't like to wash their face. They want to just use water because they feel like cleansing is too drying. And then they're also a bit afraid of doing exfoliating masks because their skin is sensitive too. So the beautiful thing about this system and what I've showed you is that it is actually breaking up, gently breaking up the, that tight, hard layer of skin on the surface. It's dry, dull, tight. And with dry skin, we often have little flakes on the surface and your moisturizers, your serums just can't get through that hard barrier. So this softens up that barrier. It removes those dry skin cells, really softens up the skin so that your serums and your moisturizer can actually penetrate in, plump your skin and do such a better job. I mentioned with dry skin, they often don't like to wash their face. Super important to wash your face twice a day with the appropriate cleanser. If you're using a cleanser that's super dry and you take it off and then your skin just looks shriveled and dry, you're using the wrong cleanser. You want to have a cleanser that really softens, opens up the skin so that you can rehydrate. 
We have a number of great cleansers like that. So if you need help, always just reach out to us and our customer service team and my estheticians there will help you find the right cleanser that's just gonna plump and hydrate your skin so that you wash your face and it's so plump and moist and not greasy, doesn't leave any kind of greasy layer on the skin, but just soft, plump and moist and ready to absorb all the great um, serums and things that you wanna put on your skin. Okay, let's see, got some questions. Best for dry, mature, non-acne prone skin needing both tightening and hydrating. So your two friends that you wanna choose are the Mighty Tidy Mask and the Hydrating Mask with Enzymes. Both of these will be really good for your skin. You may also like to pick up the Peat Mask because Peat Mask is often used by my clients with more mature skin, a little more sensitive skin, but yet it's a great, gentle exfoliant and really with those minerals and everything in there really gets the skin breathing. So when you pick up these two, get one of these out of the reward center and then you're gonna have a nice set of three masks that you can rotate through throughout the week. Confused between plumping and tightening. Okay, so plumping is when we're actually driving moisture into the skin and it plumps it up. It can look like you're tightening the skin because if you think about a balloon, when you when you it has no air in it, it's kind of saggy, right? And when you fill it up with air, it becomes nice and firm. So it does have that firming effect, but it's really when we talk about plumping, we're talking about rehydrating those skin cells. So if you think of your skin as becoming like a raisin, when we plump it up and it fills up with water, that's the plumping and it can be firming. But when we're talking about it actually firming active, that's when it's going to work and really increasing elastin in the skin. And it's really working on pulling that skin on the surface into a tighter texture or firmer texture. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Okay. Um, Marcy says, how often should we mask? Two to three times a week. So pretty much every other day, you could be putting a little mask on your face, giving yourself a little self-love. I'm a person who takes a bath. <laughs> I'm in the bath every night. Take my shower in the morning, and then I'm in the bath at night. I just like to go to bed with um, clean skin. The sheets feel so good. And so I'm just popping a mask on while I'm in the bathtub every other night or so, playing with it, putting it on, and feeding my skin that way. Okay, quite a balance between when to use Dr. Estee enzymes and a mask. So Dr. Estee enzymes are exfoliating, and they are gonna help really remove that top layer of dull, dry skin, which is great. That's what you're getting in the enzyme action of this mask. This is gentler than Dr. Um, Estee's enzyme mask. Enzymes are those Pac-Men that digest away that top layer of dead skin cells. The difference here and what we're doing is that we're not only dissolving away those dead skin cells, but we're also feeding the skin. So this is when you're gonna see that plumping, tightening. You're gonna see the skin's blood circulation doing better because we're feeding the skin at the same time that we are providing it with some gentle exfoliation. So Dr. S.A. Enzyme is just exfoliation and then you've got to put your food on the skin. This is combining the enzymes with these ingredients that really feed and nourish the skin. Sarah, how do using masks work when using TriWave? So yeah, absolutely. You can use these masks at any time. Even if you're using the TriWave that day, you're just not gonna put them on at the same time, right? So once you've removed your mask and your skin is nice and clean and ready to accept um, that microcurrent, then you will do your microcurrent treatment. So it's really great to do this kind of a mask system before doing your microcurrent because you're going to um, open up the skin so it's more able to receive. You're removing those dead skin cells. Then you put on your nice serums, put on your collagen promoter conductive gel, do your microcurrent treatment because microcurrent's also gonna drive things into the skin. So. Um, is a perfect combination, uh, a perfect storm for beautiful skin. So go ahead, rinse all this off, 
put on your serums, put on your conductive gel, do your treatments, whether it's a sheet mask or anything else that you're gonna do, and then put your moisturizers and sunscreen on, and your skin is gonna be really gorgeous. Of course, also, if you don't want to spend the whole morning doing all of this, you can do this like I do. You can do your masking at nighttime, and then I like to do my microcurrent in the morning, and that'll work out just great, too. Um, Marcy says, so happy to hear that. I love my skincare and love masking. Yay. Um, 60 says, so best mask to plump and tighten mature skin would be, I'll repeat this again, this would be your hydrating mask with enzymes and we're mixing them together right or and or the mighty tidy turmeric banana and turmeric mask this combination is great for you and this combination is great for you either one of those two are going to be really lovely just choose one go look at the ingredients choose one get started Especially if you already have um, Dr. Este enzymes at home, um, you may not need this combination. Just go straight to this combination. Do your enzymes and then put these two on your face. This is the Farmhouse Fresh Mighty Tidy and your Oxygen Deep Pore Mask. That would be great. So what we're talking about doing for you, I wish I knew your name, 60s, um, is you're going to wash your face. You're going to use your Dr. Este enzymes to wash your face, remove all that, then do your mixture of these two and put this on your skin. So you're getting a really nice exfoliation and then you're driving in some really great plumping, tightening, firming, brightening <laughs> things into your skin by using these two afterwards. Then you can remove that, put on your serums, your moisturizer and your sunscreen and you're good to go. Jen says, I always break out with white heads with enzyme masks like Botnia's. What would you recommend for masking or is my skin too sensitive? So have you used, Jen, have you used Dr. Este, no, excuse me, Rhonda Allison. What you want to use is the Rhonda Allison Derma Peel. That is the enzyme that will be perfect for you. And you're not going to mix that with anything else. So you're going to put about, oh... A nickel sized amount in your hand massage that onto your face when you first put it on it's going to feel kind of thick and as you keep massaging and put it on dry skin as you keep massaging it's going to turn kind of watery and then it turns kind of gritty and you will have no problems with that mask so for you dr este and yes we got it up there in the <laughs> in the pictures dr este derma peel that's the mask that my clients with really reactive, really sensitive rosacea or really sensitive dry skin, that's the mask that they use and some of them use it daily. Because sometimes, some people with really dry skin, it's because their skin is producing more skin cells at a faster rate than other people. And so they're having to get that dry skin off the surface. So using that Dermazyme every day or every other day is gonna help keep that dry skin away. Jen says, can I use the volcanic mask with blemishes? I get hormonal breakouts or will try Dermazyme. So use Dermazyme for that, um, removing all those dried dead skin cells and then use the volcanic ash mask afterwards or as a spot treatment, experiment with it. Most people find that volcanic ash they can use all over their entire face with no problem, but you could try experimenting with um, that or just putting it in those areas where you tend to get those inflamed breakouts. You're welcome. All right, you guys, any more questions? Looks like we're good. We did it. So fun. Enjoy these masks, you guys. Go to town with them, have fun, do some mixing and matching. Let me know <laughs> what you experiment with and what works for you. Lorena says, I love, love, love Dermazyme and use it every day before serums. My face looks so much better under makeup. Yes, that is a, an enzyme that is very, very well loved. Some of my um, actor, actress clients, um, I have swear by that and they go through it because they use it all the time. It's that no downtime way to exfoliate off that the dead skin cells 
and it's really, really lovely. Even some of my clients who like to use acids too, they still like to use that enzyme because as you know, acids do break that bond in between the cells so that start to break the bonds, but sometimes the cells still stick on. So when you use an enzyme like that, the enzyme is gonna go in and digest away those loosened cells, skin cells. So it's a really beautiful combination. Annabelle says, you have nice skin. Thank you, Annabelle. <laughs> Thank you so much. I had a hot flash halfway through the show. You guys probably saw me turn beet red. I'm 61 and I still have hot flashes. It's just the way it goes. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. All right, you guys, this has been a great show, a lot of fun. I have a great week and we'll see you back here next week.